Dave Morales from Houston, Texas. Yeah, you, you, that's our. You did it last time. I was thinking. Yeah, you, it goes you, without saying. There at this you go. Point. It should anyway. Good to see you again, brother. Thank you. Nice to see you too. You get this script. You read it. You study it. Did you know from the beginning? It was like, wow, this is going to be something special. It's awesome, by the way. Oh, thank you. What do you What do you think when you read something like this? <sighs> well, I met with the director Damien before I had read it, and so he's just a very infectious person and talked a lot about trying to make films that you didn't want to watch on your iPhone that you wanted to go and see in a movie theater with people and so you know it's he's infectious and so when I read the script I realized that he really had a chance at uh, at doing just that you got a great voice singing voice man um, honestly I mean I was like wow Pull it's not up. as good as your speaking voice, though. Yeah, <laughs> all right, stop. It's not. It's not at Dave Morales from Houston, Texas. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you for that. But what True. are the challenges to do uh, doing music as part of a role? Um. Well, it was a nice opportunity to uh, explore a character in a way that you you normally don't get to because how they dance, how they sing. In my case, how I played piano, all of those things help to inform the character, and that was uh, a new opportunity. You bring up the piano, so you learned piano for this role I read. Is that true or false? That's true. I learned to play the, not piano in general, but just the pieces in this film. Really? And how long did that take? Three months. Wow. You've worked with Emma before. This is the third time that you guys have been together in a film. Uh -huh. How special is that? I mean, some people won't return to a second film with, <laughs> with co-stars. Right. Yeah. He's agreeing with me. Yeah, okay. Sure. But you're doing the third round now with Emma. And what was, did that make it even more magical? Well, because we had worked together twice before, we were able to sort of hit the ground running on this, which was really helpful because there was a lot of work to do. What was your favorite scene to shoot? in this film? Um, you know, this whole movie was an experience and how fun making movies can be, so there was always a new challenge. The f my f there's a piece in the film where I have to, I have to play uh, the theme from the movie on the piano and I have to do it in one shot, and so it took about three months to be able to do that, and it was my first scene up. So I lost a little sleep over that, as you can imagine, but when it was over, it was a relief because uh, it felt like, uh, you know, uh, anything was possible. Well, this is exciting for me because I part of the Critics' Choice. I nominated you. I'm voting for you. Oh, You're thank my number you. one film for the year. So congratulations for that. Thanks. You've got to be just excited. Does it make you as an actor feel proud when you know that a film like this is getting received so well? It's uh, it's it's great that the film is. It seems like people are having as much fun watching it as we did making it, so that's a relief. Final question for you, sir. What do you want for Christmas this year? Um, I, I can't imagine. Uh, I don't need anything else. <laughs> you know, I feel very lucky. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe like voice lessons from Dave Morales from Houston, Texas. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs>